Hey everybody, this is Neil from UberPie, and I'm going to show you how to take a maker spot kit and turn it into a UberPie, what I call them. Um, they're not truly UberPies until I put the software on them and make them what they are, the complete unit. But I'm going to at least take you through it. And I'll probably do less talking and more working, but you can see how all those components are going to be uh, turned into, uh, <clears throat> into, uh, a little computer um, over here we have two pieces of, uh, of electric tape we only need one piece and then you got your tools the screwdriver the electric tape uh, right here you've got your smaller uh, I call them motherboard risers but I guess it's kind of what they are you got your larger they're longer uh, motherboard risers uh, your eight nuts and your four bolts and then you have uh, this little plexiglass bottom. You have the USB riser board. You have the Raspberry Pi Zero W. And then you also have the very top, which is also plexiglass. Uh, this is your power cable. It's just the USB. It's a micro USB to USB. And then you have your power source. Um, that's it. That's all the parts. Um, up there... Up here in this corner, you can't really see it. The kit also comes with some uh, GPIO pins and a wireless uh, adapter, but I don't really need it because the Zero W comes with wireless, and uh, most people don't have any use for the GPIO pins other than you know those that would be hobbyists, and I don't typically sell these things hobbyists that do all kinds of weird things but if they want them they can request them and I'll give them to them and with that I'll just get started so I gotta take this paper off you don't want to leave the paper on it doesn't look pretty comes with paper on two sides a little tricky which is why I keep a little bit of my fingernails if anybody's wondering why my fingernails aren't totally cut that's why because I need them they were we were given them for a reason to scratch on stuff so you take this piece right here and you put the uh, four bolts through it and I usually just hold it sideways to get the four bolts through it and then you gotta take this and carefully lay it down so it's facing straight up so now you have the four bolts in it you gotta get four nuts on it which can be a little bit tricky to get started threading sometimes it just goes sometimes I sit there and fiddle with it but I absolutely recommend that you do this in a place where you if you drop one of these bolts you can find it very quickly because if you lose one of these bolts you cannot put the whole kit together So I got them threaded, so now I just take a screwdriver on one end and just run them down, run the bolts down. And that's about the fastest way I know to do it. You can sit there and hand twist them, but this is a lot faster. A little husky screwdriver. With the little, with the, the head of it is, uh, the back side of it, the red part, actually spins. So I can just quickly twirl this thing around and make it do its magic. It takes a lot less time to get these nuts on. And what these nuts are doing is they're going to serve as a spacer between the USB riser board and the uh, plexiglass you don't want to just put it right on the plexiglass it's 
probably not a good idea. I'm not sure what happens when you do that. I don't know if there's enough heat going through this to make some magic happen. But um, I'd recommend putting the nuts on as the spacers, just like you're supposed to. Well, no, you should also know that um, this video might be the closest thing to an actual tutorial to build this kit there is out there. Because the the whole thing comes with a couple boxes, a couple bags, and stuff like that. But it does not come with instructions. So, uh, I basically had to learn how to do this by uh, looking at a picture. And determining which where the big ones go, the small ones go. where the nuts go so there's not really any kind of instructions and unlike the uh, Raspberry Pi Model 3's that I make into the Uber Pi systems these ones are a lot more involved so you kinda have to know your way around you have to know what you're doing but I've been assembling computer hardware for years, so it really wasn't super tricky to figure out. So I got that basically together. Now I'm going to take my USB riser board and run it through the bolts. be a little bit tricky but it will go bam that part's completed now you have to take your four long long uh, USB risers I mean not your USB risers but your uh, mother what I call motherboard risers because they look just like motherboard risers. Um, the little risers that you put between your case and your motherboard when you're building a computer. And you put the four long ones on there, not the short ones. And they go on pretty easily. You don't have to do a whole lot. You just thread them on. So now they are on. So now it's time for the Raspberry Pi Zero W. And it's important on the back side, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this in the video. There's the GPIO header on this side, and then there's a series of contact points on this side. You want to make sure those contact points line up with the pins on the other side. The contact points, not the GPIO header side. So basically when you put it together, you should have your power on this side and your card on this side on the top deck on the 0W. And then you take the smaller motherboard risers, put them on. So now the smaller motherboard risers are on there as well. So we've got a little sandwich going. I gotta take this piece, get this, get this, only one side of it has paper on it. I have to get that off. 
which can be kind of a pain, but it's doable. And then you want to put this on so that you can read the print on the top when you're looking on the top. And you can also, uh, you're not covering up the GPIO header pin because if you ever need those GPIO header um, connections, these holes, you have to be able to access them. And this, this thing labels those holes. That's why I don't cover them up with an Uberpi sticker in okay, case somebody wants to get froggy. And then we take the uh, little, oh, the little nuts. And there's not really a great way to do it. You just kind of get them on there and get them started like you did the other ones the whole unit should screw through and through the the whole each each stud assembly should screw through so I'll be able to tighten it up here in a minute I just want to really get them started and there's not a lot of space to do that So th these ones are real tricky. This is where you might lose the nut. You know what? I think I can just go ahead and tighten them. By hand. I may go ahead. I may. I, I don't think need running the screwdriver through. It's going to make much of a difference on this one. But that goes together, and then the last one goes in. And that's it. That is it. Make sure that you can see this. There it is. all bolted together one unit so I'm going to take that unit I don't need the screwdriver anymore I'm going to go ahead on the narrow end and hook up the, uh, the uh, USB to micro USB and then I go ahead and hook the plug up and I ship it like that oh and one thing you don't want to forget when you're like me, I didn't even go over this whenever I explained all the parts. And I always put this on first, but I didn't want to do that because of this video. I've forgotten a part. And it's a critical part. And that is the heat sink. You don't want to forget it. I don't know if it's really necessary per se. Um, I don't know if the Raspberry Pi Zero W's really require heat sinks, but it comes with the kit, so I always put it on. So I'm just going to take these nuts off. And kind of get this out of the way. So we're back into the unit, the heat sink, which I forgot. This kit, like I said, this kit is very tricky. Very, very tricky. Put that heat sink on there. For that additional protection. And we'll go ahead and put the bolts back on. We'll put the nuts back on.
these things are such a chore to put together that rather than just do the video over and show you that heat sink right when you're supposed to put it on just take note that you're supposed to put it on um, backtrack if you have to I'm sorry about that it's just a lot easier for me to continue onward and that's it it's together we have the mini HDMI to HDMI adapter it goes in and then two additional things that you get to see if you watch this video to the end I put two other things on these and it kind of drives the cost up a little bit but it helps people out it's a pluggable Ethernet on the go adapter that I know works that chipset works and then these are really cheap the uh, USB to micro USB it's a USB male to micro USB female adapter and if you were just using the Raspberry Pi Zero W and you had that one USB port then you would you could just use this without the adapter but since we're using these uh, this setup we have to use this adapter because the bottom line is you can't use these which is what the tape is for which I'm going to go ahead and use right now I go ahead and I cover up these ports with tape and then I let people know via like the user manual and stuff like that 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 tape is on there to prevent them from using it because when you use those ports you bypass the USB riser board the USB riser board isn't damaged but it can't work it has to have power going through the USB riser board up through the unit and out to where it needs to go so you don't want to use those ports And finally, there's that. And there you have it. That is a Nuber Pi Mini. It is almost done. It's about to be complete. It just needs one more thing. The Uber Pie logo. Labor Love. That's it. That's what you gotta do. To put one together. So if you wanna try it, go for it. I'll sell you a card. But uh if you don't want to mess with it, then buy an Uber Pie Mini. And uh I'll take care of all that for you, and I will put the heat sink on. Thank you, and uh, have a good day.